And this is the final amount of hair on a wash day. Can you see the matted this? Yeah. Here? So all of this. I'll hold it up. Tell me when. No. This is all. All of that is matte. This is on my third wash. So you got Black History Month and then you have March. This is what I have. A lot of shedding. This is like my third major, major wash and detangle. What's up y'all and welcome back to my channel. So little juice, if you to my shen. So in today's video, I'm actually going to be complaining slash ranting. Not too bad, Can you hear that though? Why did this come out of my hair while I was driving? About hair company when I buy it myself to test it out just to see if it's worth like a sponsorship or a collaboration. I have gotten hair that's honestly just shitty. Um, I've actually taken out my hair. This is um, like you can see that my hair has gone through different color changes in the past few months. I'm actually growing my hair out because I definitely messed up my hair and this summer I've been experimenting with weaves and protective styles so that my hair can grow. Um, in the summer I probably had three different installs and all three of them were terrible as far as the quality of the hair. So the first hair company that I'm going to talk about um, is Eunice Hair and I used to really love their hair, so this is kind of like a hard video to do, but at least with their curly hair, it was just, it was terrible. Another company that I'm gonna be talking about is Beauty Forever Hair, and I tried their hair with two installs, and their hair was absolutely terrible. I had to actually cut out a chunk. This is, okay. This is all. All of that is not. She wants to play in the box right below me as I'm recording this video. So if you hear anything, please excuse it. This is, um, she's mischievous right now. I think she's about to go in heat. Anyways, so in this video, I'm gonna take you through the journey of this summer and having but protective styles, my hair companies growing. who have reached out to me for sponsorships that I have not decided to do because of the lack of consistency with buying the hair and receiving the hair for free. So. Um, this is going to be a different video because I usually don't complain or rant on my video, but I think it's um, important to just be honest and transparent about things that I try that I like and things that I try and I do not like. So let's go ahead and jump right into the first install in the video. So in about March, I decided that my hair quality was just taking a turn for the worst. I definitely was not practicing what I preached as far as bleaching my hair in a healthy way. So I decided to use protective styles to grow my hair back. So for this install, as you guys saw when I first did my switch, I went completely dark. And in order to blend the top, I actually just used something called Overtone as well as the L'Oreal um, Root Touch-Up Spray. So this install, I had so much shedding and I did not dye the hair, I did not bleach the hair. I did nothing to, to the hair, so to me, it really didn't have much of an excuse to use for the hair to be bad. After a week and a half, and that's a lot of hair, like, in comparison to the Shea Moisture, a lot of hair. Um, so when I took this install out, I kind of separated the bundles, and you can see how much um, shedding the hair had and when I first put it in it was super super full I was gonna use this hair for a second install but when I brushed it and, and um, got it wet with product in it when it dried it dried up super frizzy and this is how much hair came out after I took my weave out um, after brushing it um, it's not that much but considering there was some when I took it out I just don't know what's normal like I haven't done this in so long that I forgot what's normal. The hair is still pretty full and my cousin when she did the weave said that there was like a lot of hair in these bundles. 
So I don't know if it just like sh shrunk down to the, I don't know. It's, I don't know. I don't know. It could be because of the rice water. It could be because I didn't take care of it or it's bad bundles. I don't know what it is, but I'm gonna put this in my hair again and see how it goes. So then I switched over to Beauty Forever Hair because I've heard lots of great feedback from them and they've always reached out to me um, for sponsorships and collaborations. So the first install that I did, I definitely rushed the hair. And just a quick little break here. This video is sponsored by Audible. You guys know that I listen to Audible all the time. The book that I am currently listening to is Way of the Superior Man. And if you guys are interested, you can get your first audiobook for free, plus two Audible originals when you try Audible for the first 30 days. All you have to do is visit www.audible.com slash findguru or text find guru to 500 500 i've been listening to it on audible in the morning at the gym on the go on the plane i feel like this past just allowed me to be one with my feminine energy and i really love it i think it's great for men and women and you'll get a lot from it audible has different different genres i personally always like self-development, all types of genres that you guys can choose from. Audible also has Audible Originals, which are, are exclusive audio titles created by celebrated storytellers in worlds as diverse as journalism, theater, literature, and more. Now let's go ahead and jump right back into the video. I bleached it because one, I was missing my lighter hair, and two, I wanted it to blend a bit easier because I was getting tired of touching up my natural hair because my ends were still blonde. So I bleached the ends and I processed it one time and then I didn't really like the way it turned out so I had to, I had to tone it, but when I toned it, I used a, um, an actual lightener, but it's not necessarily a bleach, which is the L'Oreal um, Baby Lights. And I used a 11 in, I wanna say, or eight a, I use basically like a pale blonde to basically balance out the brassiness to get more of an ash brown color. After I did that, the hair fell completely and I basically lost the tight curls that I originally had. So when I got the hair installed, it was nice, it was full. It definitely didn't blend in with my hair, but I made it work. This hair. So I have Beauty Forever hair in, and this is my shedding after one wash and I've washed plenty of times and I'm starting to know after about a week and a half, it's shedding more. So we'll see how the next wash is. Hopefully I have no shedding. Um, I haven't really been doing much. I haven't swam in the ocean or the chlorine. So hopefully when I do do that, this doesn't result to more. But we gonna see, we gonna see. This hair shed so much that when I was on vacation, I literally had to cut out the bottom of the hair. It was ridiculous. Are you recording? Yeah. That first tug was not too minor. Can you hear that though? Is it not supposed to do that? No. Like a company sends you good hair. It's supposed to be like normal hair. It's not supposed to tangle like this. And I haven't got my hair wet, so that's not the problem. Basically every single time that I washed it, it shed so much to where it was almost the size of the palm of my hand or bigger. Mind you, I was not getting in, in chlorine water. I was not getting into the ocean. I was not doing anything abnormal. As you can see in these videos, my hair this is literally was shedding a dreadlock. like <laughs> I haven't crazy. even had this in my head for two it, weeks. Barely two weeks. I've never had hair shed this much. It was almost to the point where I basically lost a whole bundle just in shedding. I was also doing rice water in between my braids. So I was like, you know what? Maybe it's because I bleached it and maybe rice water with weave hair isn't good. So I was trying to give it the benefit of the doubt. And then like a few weeks later, my hair on the bottom was shaking a lot. So I thought my hair was just growing because of the rice water. So I um, had like a day where I could actually wash my hair and spend some time with detangling my hair and basically revamping everything up. So I was, I was detangling and as I was detangling, I noticed that this piece that was really loose in the back, which I thought it was my braids, 
because my hair grew so much was actually a whole track. So I did I couldn't see it because it was in the back of my head. So so I wanted to see what it looked like. So I was recording a video and then I could see it was a full dread. Like the hair basically went into the root and matted up. Like so much. And then T can you um can you record the back? Yes. Can I have plenty from the chunky? Yeah. Is there still a lot? Yeah, this whole thing. So you just cut it out, huh? Yeah. I would say so. Because you're even matted a little bit in the top. Okay. Let's do it. To where there was no detangling, I literally had to cut it out. So when I cut it out, between that and all of the shedding that I had for the two weeks, three weeks prior, it was basically like I lost a whole bundle. So when I took that out, I was like, you know what? Let me give it the benefit of the doubt. I did rice water and I bleached it a lot. So let me go ahead and do another install. So I literally waited like two or three days. I got new hair, got new bundles. I bleached it once. The quality of the curl was so much better and I put it in my hair. This hair was bomb. I thought, you know what? Maybe I just messed up. Maybe I shouldn't have bleached it the way I bleached it and maybe I shouldn't use rice water. So the first week, bomb. Second week, bomb. Third week, bomb. Getting into the third and a half week, it started shedding like crazy. And so I just got out the shower and this is a few days after I did that first wash. And this is all the hair that came out. Um, I don't know y'all. I don't know if I'm just not brushing it as frequently as I should. Like the first two weeks, three weeks were fine. So that first little bunch of hair and this is all that has come out for the entire month. Everything else has been super minimal. Like, like this. Like all the rest of the shedding has been like this. So maybe this is just a lot of buildup um, that I either didn't notice or that just happened all at once. But you could see like... There's just a lot of knots, like a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of like dread-like knots that are really hard to get out. So the hair is still pretty full. And to be honest, a lot of the like big chunks were up at the top. So what I meant is when I wash my hair, I put the uh, product in and then I do this. So I don't know if that motion is what makes it build up in the roots, but I have to brush this hair and see, look. You can see I just got out the shower and then there's still some shedding. So I'm gonna brush through this hair, but you know, we'll see. This this protective style journey is gonna be interesting. Um, definitely much less shedding than the first time I got my hair because that I had to literally cut tracks out because it was so bad. So I don't know if it has to do with the bleach. I don't know if it has to do with the way that I'm taking care of the hair. Mind you, I was being super, super careful. I was wrapping my hair, I was putting up in pineapple, I was brushing it out frequently, and it just- There is no reason why I should be driving and be able to take out a big old glob of hair. Don't look at me, because I just took off my nose, but why did this come out of my hair while I was driving? I mean, obviously I had to like rip it out, but this is a full on dread. Like, this is not, this is not it, y'all. And this was just casual like shedding. But I don't know if this is normal after washing, but I think I gave this hair a go and it's just not it for me. That just wraps up my little rant on just the lack of consistency between these brands. You guys probably see a lot on YouTube. For me personally, um, being somebody who have who has been reached out from both of these brands, buying it from them as somebody who's not necessarily doing a video or a sponsorship from them has not necessarily been the greatest experience. Just wanted to share um, my disappointment this summer with those two hair brands video i wanted to be super transparent because a lot of people have been asking me on instagram like how my hair has grown if i'm wearing wigs if i'm wearing weaves and stuff like that and where i've gotten the hair from i personally don't like the hair and probably would never use that hair again 
So that's why I have not been sharing where the hair is from. If you guys do have some hair companies that you actually like that have quality curly hair, please let me know because I will be protective styling for probably like another six or something months because my hair is messed up. And don't forget for you first time Audible users, you guys can get a free audiobook within the first 30 days when you go to www.audible.com slash findguru or text findguru to 500-500. Thank you guys so much for watching my video and I will see you in the next upload. Bisous!